What? If you could make a simple water simulation, become a simulation with multiple colors. And what if this multiple colors would be mixed together in a natural way? Welcome to the new Mixbox implementation. So, what exact is Mixbox? And what is it doing? Mixbox was developed by Secret Weapons and when visiting their webpage you will find the practical pigment mixing for digital painting. There are some comparisons. On the left side you can see colors and how they will be mixed together in real life. If you try to mix the same colors in some painting software, you will find out that the transition from one color to the next does not look the same. You can see it in this fluid simulation. In real life, mixing blue and yellow will become green, but in this example it's more gray than a color. And this is because many software is built around RGB representation. Secret weapons are talking about this in this video on YouTube. Some links are in our video description. We from the Flip Fluids add-on team took Mixbox and brought it into our add-on. Mixbox works as a plugin for our add-on and needs to be installed in addition to it. That means all customers will find a new file called mixbox.plugin in the place where they bought our add-on. Okay, after downloading the mixbox plugin file, you need to open Blender and then go to Edit, Preferences and then search for the Flip Fluids add-on. Open that panel and then scroll down to this field here. It's called Experimental and Debug Tools and you have to enable that checkbox here to be able to install the Mixbox plugin. If you are using an experimental build that uh, might be that uh, this is enabled by default. So okay, click on this and you will see now status, it's not installed. So click on install Mixbox plugin and then find the directory on your drive where you have downloaded it. Select it, click install and that's all. And you can now see a great Mixbox test window here where you can test or where you can compare the new Mixbox plugin um, color mixing and RGB mixing. So let's take the blue, blue and a yellow, yellowish color and you will see Mixbox plugin will make this green in the middle while RGB mixing is more grayish. Okay, you also can make some tests here. And yeah, and the next thing would be to make a simulation with Mixbox. So, okay, let me show you a simple example on how this will work. So, of course, we need a domain object. Let me prepare a simple scene now here using our Flip Fluids add on. And let's say we would like to have two different colors, so we need two inflow objects here, one here. Let's say this is an inflow and another one here. And um, yeah, so what we need to do is to give them both a color. So that can be done here using color attributes. But now it's gray. And the reason for that it is gray is because we have to enable these attributes in the domain settings. So when the domain is selected, scroll down and find this flip fluid surface panel here because attributes are working on the faces and scroll down and find these attributes fields here and there is the mixing mode and you can see here also mixbox plugin status that it is installed very great and uh, yes you see what is need to be enabled so click on color attributes and enable mixing and yes, now we can choose between RGB and Mixbox mixing. Of course, we would like to make Mixbox mixing. Okay, so 
back to our inflow objects and as you can see now we can change colors here uh, I would say let's try um, red or oh, let's take the blue color a blue color and this one will be yellow so we have blue and yellow and yeah let's take a look to what this is looking like so what we need now is let's hit bake oh we need to save the file first give that one a name All right and then we can hit bake okay that will be enough and yes, of course, the next thing would be to uh, that the correct shader. So let me first go to Cycles Rendering, GPU Accelerated, and then let's click to Render Viewport. Yes, and everything is white because we do not have um, the shader we need now to make Mixwort visible. So let's go to the Shading tab here. And let's create a new node setup. And all what you need to do now is you add an attribute and the attribute we are we need is called flip underline color and then we need to connect that color to the base color input and then you will see both colors so this is what is the mix mix box plugin doing it's mixing the yellow and the blue color correctly in a natural way and it becomes green another thing that is possible you can uh, also split the colors and use different shaders so this will only work with three different colors because there is a separate rgb node that can be used for this and you can uh, yes connect the color attribute to this image input and then you can connect this to the base color and now nothing is uh, visible or colorful because we do not have a red in our in our um, inflow objects so a green we do also not have but we have a blue and that will be visible of course in this way what we need to do is we need to reset our simulation Go to the inflow objects and then let's say this one is let it be blue but this one will be a pure red all right so and then hit bake yes and that is what we have now we have black and white and this is because we do not have a color output here we just have separated the colors what you can do now is you can disconnect this shader here And then we could take a mix. And use our separate RGB node here as an input. Then bring one shader to this input. And the other side, make this, let's say this is a yeah, something like this, maybe some metallic, whatever you like to see. And the other thing, let it be opened. So this is with the red channel and we have not a green channel. So everything is the same color and we have a blue channel. So this way you can split your inflows using the separate RGB and you don't need to have the color on your surface, but any type of shader you would like to see there so let's make a duplicate of this bruise here this way and then connect the blue one here then we need to add this both shaders And let's take a different material color here. So as you can see, you can now use different shaders using the separate RGB node. 
uh, in place of just using the color of the color attribute. All right, this will work with three colors, of course, because you have a RGB separator here. Okay, so this is uh, the basic idea about how Mixbox is working with attributes.